All right, this is the one you've all been waiting for. For weeks, the biggest problem with the free Google Pro method has been the credit card. One card, one account. Well, today, we break that limit. In this video, I'm going to prove to you that you can create unlimited Google AI Pro accounts using the exact same credit card over and over again. Let's clear up all the questions right now. Do you need an Indian credit card? No, any Visa or MasterCard works. Do you need a special Indian email? No. Or can you access this from anywhere in the world? Absolutely, yes. All right, to start, let's head over to our computer screen. I've already connected my VPN to a location in India. Now, it's important to note that I'm using two different email accounts for this process. This is my first one, and in the incognito window, you can see my second one. We'll be creating a pro account for both. First, I'll quickly check my IP address to confirm the VPN is active. As you can see, it shows my location in Mumbai, India, so the connection is working perfectly. You should always double check this as well. The IP is the same in the incognito window, so there are no issues. Now I will close this tab. In this main tab, I am pasting the link, which you can find in the video's description. As the page loads, you'll see it says, Verify Eligibility. I'll also go to the incognito tab and paste the same link there. Here too, it says the same thing. Verify eligibility, meaning you need to verify your eligibility for 12 months of free access. Okay, so I'll return to my main account and click Verify Eligibility. As I click, a new tab opens. Now, below this, you'll see several options. The first option is for the country. It lists all the countries where the student offer is available. If you want to get it in the United States, you can do that. You can also get it for other countries, but for this video, I will show you how to get it for India. You can do this from anywhere in the world. No need to worry when I am here. Just follow the steps and get the 12-month access. First, we need to select our college or university. I'll search for one here. You must make sure that whichever college you select, the city name is not written next to it, only the institution's name. As you can see here, this one does not have a city name, so I'll select it. Here, I'll enter a first name. You can enter any name, there's no issue. In the same way, I'll enter a last name here. Now we come to the date of birth, so I will add our date of birth. Next is the email address. There's a specific format for this, and you'll find a template in the video description. Simply copy it and paste it here. The key is that the first two digits and the four digits after BSC can be changed to random numbers. However, you must have at least four digits after BSC and the BSC part must remain the same. The domain at the end, at cuchd.in, also must stay exactly the same. To get the required student ID card for verification, we'll use a special tool. Now I'll open a new tab and go to Google Gemini. You can see this is a normal version, not the pro version. Go to Tools and click on Canvas. Here, I will paste a code that I've provided in the description and press Enter. This code is for our student ID card generator. It's now compiling. The code itself is ready. You just need to copy and paste it. I created this code so we can make the student ID card we need for proof easily without using any third-party tools. While that's compiling, I'll switch over to the incognito window to repeat the verification process for my second account simultaneously, making sure to use a different school and different personal details, but following the exact same steps. Here, I want to tell you that I am making two accounts at the same time, on the same browser with the same card. It means you do not need many cards for many accounts, just follow the steps as I am doing, and get unlimited accounts on only one card. Okay, our ID card generator is now ready. We need to upload three things, a college logo, a student photo, and a principal signature. All of these can be found easily on Google. I'll quickly search for and save a college logo, a signature image, and an Indian student photo. Now I'll go back to the generator and upload the files. First, the college logo is uploaded. Second, I'll upload the student photo. Third, I'll upload the principal signature. As you can see below, the basic elements of the card are ready. The logo, photo, and signature are all in place. Now, we need to update the text details. I'll go back to the verification form to make sure everything matches. I will copy the school's name and paste it into the college name field in the generator. 
I'll do the same for the address at the bottom. Then I will copy the first and last names from the form and paste them into the name field on the card. I will then fill in the class, roll number, and date of birth to match the form exactly. Finally, I will enter a random 10-digit mobile number and set the year to 2025. Now that all the details are filled in, our student ID card is ready. I'll click the Download Card button. I will repeat this entire process for the second identity as well, creating two unique ID cards. With the cards ready, I'll click Verify Student Status, and the verification process will begin. It will take a moment to load, and then this window will appear. Here, you simply need to click on Add Document. It's important to upload the ID card that has the same details you just entered on the form. The details on my card match this one, so I'll attach this card here, and after attaching it, I'll click the Submit button below. It will take a little time as it's loading. After that, it will start verifying the card. As you can see, the timer has started. There's a 20-second timer within which it will verify our card. So, once it does, I will show you. And there, it has been verified. Now it says, you've been verified. Next, we have to go to the next step. Now, I'll go back to my other account and repeat the same process. I'll click Verify Student Status, go to Add Document, and this time, I will select the second ID card we created and submit it. In the same way, it will take a little time. And again, the 20-second timer has started. So here as well, it will... And see, you've been verified, meaning this card of ours has also been approved. Now what I'll do is go back to the first account, and here I will click on Get Google AI Pro. This will give us the Pro version for free for 12 months. I'll click Get Student Offer again. Now pay close attention, here's the main part you all need to understand. We simply have to click Add Card, the first option. You can use any kind of card you have available, whether it's a Visa or MasterCard, as long as it works and has a minimum of $1 in the account. OK? Simply add your card number here, then its details, meaning the month, year, and CVC. After adding that, you can write any name for the cardholder. It's not an issue. Below that, you can select any state of your choice without any problem. OK, now that all the details have been added, I will save it. Her. You need to remember my card's last digits and I will show you this again later. Now you simply have to click the subscribe button. After you click subscribe, it will take two or three minutes and you see subscribed right in front of you. This means we have gotten the pro version of Google, okay? Now I will close this and I will show you everything. See, it says go to Gemini. I'll go to Gemini. You can see the colorful circle has appeared with my username, and Pro is also written next to it, which means I have the Pro account. Now, I will go to my second incognito window, where I am creating another account at the same time. There too, I will follow the same process. Here, it will ask for the card details. I am going to use the exact same card that I used for the first account. You must keep this in mind. This is why I'm making two accounts at the same time to show you that you can create as many accounts as you want with one card. So, I have filled in the card details here. Now I will simply click Subscribe. As I click Subscribe, you will see that this account of mine has also been subscribed, and I will also show you its email address to prove that it's a different email, but the card is the same. This means with a single card, you can create two accounts, three, four, five, as many accounts as you want. Now look, it says, You've got Google AIPRO. I click it, you will see Go to Gemini, and you will see the Pro option there. I will also show you the email to confirm it's a different address. This means we have created two accounts at the same time with one card and two different Gmail IDs. So, I hope you have understood all of these steps. And just like that, the limit is broken. You saw it live. One card, multiple accounts. Now, if you need the full detailed guide on the entire setup process we used here, I've linked that main tutorial right at the top of the description for you. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you.